Hey guys, it's Wedgevox here from Rocket League Mods. Today we're going to be looking at unpacking the meshes from the Rocket League UPK files to be used in our level. So before we start, a couple of things that everyone should know. We cannot import textures as of now due to the fact that the game is being baked, meaning that all the textures are referenced in a textures.tfc file and because of that we can't just add textures in. So this will all become a bit more apparent and clear as we go through this tutorial. So first off, going to start off by opening up my tutorial folder. This has everything that I need to do this tutorial, except for Milkshake, which is over here. So you need the Rocket League decryption tool. This decrypts the UPK files because at the moment they are being encrypted by Rocket League and the U model, so you can view all these files once that you've decrypted them. So First off, I'm going to open up my mods folder. So this is inside my cooked PC console folder inside of my Rocket League Steam game. So inside here is all of the UPK files. So if I want to search up the park p UPK file, I can copy that, paste it into here, and then I can just decrypt it. and then it creates this file. This unpacked file, you don't have to rename it to anything. You can then go ahead and drag this onto view model and that will open it up. And inside here is loads of materials. So if you look at them, they're not very high quality. Wait, let's see if we can find one. Say we were looking at this, right? You can see the lines are very blurry. The texture width and height has been stripped to 64 times 64. So if I exit this, and then I go back into this folder and I grab the textures.tfc files and put them in there. They're pretty big so make sure you have space if you're going to do this. And then I open this up again. The textures are now a lot better quality. So because they're referencing these textures, they're referencing that file. So now this is still stripped a bit, still blurry, but this one's a lot better quality than it was before. As you can see. So all of these that I've opened up so far are textures. To see the meshes you have to na go navigate include meshes. Now when I go through I'll see all these different meshes. Right, this is the boost pad. This is what I'm going to be exporting. So if I go tools export current object this mesh will be exported somewhere on my computer. So if I go into my log I can see where it's been exported to or I can go into tools and then open export folder and then look for the name of the package that you're opening. So Park P, which is the one I opened. Everything that I've exported from Park P package is now put into here. And then static mesh three, that just means this is static mesh. So I've exported a lot because I've been changing all these into FBX files. So say I wanted to do the boost pad, this one, here we go. So if I right click, copy, I'm gonna move this into my tutorials folder. Here we go, boost patch large. I have to now rename this to take away the X because they rename it to PSKX because you can't import this directly into UDK and if you try you'll get some errors. So now with this, this is now a object. So this is this mesh. But I need to be able to have changed this into an FBX format in order to use it in UDK. So to do that, I open up Milkshape 3D. In Milkshape, I go File, Import, and then I select Unreal UT PSK file. Now from here, I can just double click on this boost pad as long as you've renamed it. And then I can go File, then Export as an alias FBX. So this Milkshape is literally just to change the file extension. It's the easiest way that I've found. So keeping in line with the naming conventions, boost pad, Sorry, I don't want to replace that. I want to make an FBX, so just leave it blank at the end. And there we go. There you have it, an FBX right here. So this mesh can now be put into your game. So if I go onto my UDK, I'm going to exit these first because I don't need them open anymore. And exit this. And exit that. So opening up my UDK. Make sure you're on the right version. 
If you're not, then you're going to have to download it again, and if you're on the more recent version, you won't be able to use your files anymore, which is what I found. So, I'm going to exit out of this. I don't need this on startup. So if I open up my test level, which is basically just the level I just had, but I've saved it, and I go view, browser windows, content browser, you can see that I have this. So in my new packages, I have this package. So what I want to do is I want to, to create a new package, I go new, and then I type in whatever package name I want. So if I want test level package to be the name, I can do that. Click OK. It'll open up this because the default thing for it to create in a package is whatever you specified it as. I specified an anim set, so it automatically created one for me and it put it in there. I don't need it, it's just in there. Okay, so I have this test level package. I'm going to go ahead and save it and put it into my maps folder. There we go. Now it's disappeared from here and it's been moved into the content maps test level package. So this package has to be copied into your mods folder every time you change it and you want to run the, the new version of your map. So you want to put all your meshes in here and that kind of stuff. So if I open up this boost pad large and I just drag it in just straight away, there you go, make sure you selected the right package. If you wanted to import materials, you have to select that down there as well. Click OK, not fully loaded. Yes, fully loaded. Alright. Um, FBX version is different, that's okay. Click OK. No smoothing, that's alright as well. There we go. Now I have this mesh. So this is in my this is in my scene now, but it's not in the scene, so it's in my package. So if I drag this onto there and I go forward, forward, forward you can see it's there. It's very, very shiny. It's great. So, you can move it, whatever you want with it, just position it wherever. So now, if I control, if I click on this first, control S, it'll save this package. And now I also have to build. So build, build all. So this builds the map. If you don't build the map, then something will happen. I don't know, I always build my map because it has to build everything to know where the shadows are going to go, where everything's going to go. Otherwise I'm pretty sure it doesn't save it properly. So build, build, build. Got to build the light mass. Got to know where those shadows are. Alright, that's done. Close. Close, all good. File. Save all. There we go. That's my map saved. So that's pretty much the whole tutorial. To move it into the mods folder, you exit this, you open up wherever you've saved your map. So I have a shortcut on my desktop to it. So this is my test level and this is my package. I right click, copy. I go into my mods folder, right click, paste. There we go. Now I also have to change this to be UPK. There we go. That's it. Now I can run that using the mod manager or anything like that. So that's all it is for today. Thank you and leave comments below. All the links should be in the description for everything you need.